In the ancient land of Nepal, nestled amidst the towering Himalayas, lies the Kathmandu Valley. A tale whispers through the ages, a story that ponders the what-ifs of history. What if Manjushri, the legendary sage, hadn't cut the valley of Kathmandu? What if, instead, it remained a vast expanse of water? Let us embark on a journey of imagination, exploring the possibilities that could have unfolded. Long ago, when the valley was a shimmering lake, it held an ethereal beauty that enchanted all who beheld it. The reflection of the majestic mountains danced upon its pristine surface, casting a spell of tranquility over the land. The inhabitants of the valley thrived on the abundant aquatic resources, forging a unique relationship with the water that surrounded them. Life in this water-centric Kathmandu would have evolved with its own distinct charm. Stilt houses would have dotted the shoreline, crafted by skilled artisans who embraced the challenges of living in harmony with the waters. Intricate networks of canals would have crisscrossed the city, serving as both transportation arteries and sources of irrigation for fertile farmlands. The daily rhythm of the valley would have been orchestrated by the ebb and flow of the tides. As the sun rose, fishermen would set sail on their vibrant boats, casting their nets into the depths below. Children would have learned to navigate the waters as naturally as they walked on land, their laughter resonating across the liquid landscape. Art and culture would have flourished amidst this aquatic wonderland. A unique tradition of water-themed festivals would have emerged, with colorful processions honoring the spirits of the lake. Boats adorned with intricate designs and vibrant hues would glide through the water, carrying musicians and dancers who enthralled the spectators with their graceful movement. But as with all tales, challenges would have arisen. The delicate balance between the land and the water would have demanded constant vigilance. Monsoons, with their torrential downpours, could have threatened to engulf the valley, testing the resilience of its inhabitants. Engineering marvels would have been devised to protect the city, such as intricate systems of embankments and drainage channels. The relationship between humans and water would have shaped their worldview. Mythologies would have woven tales of gods and goddesses emerging from the depths, reminding the people of their intimate connection with this life-giving force. The echoes of reverence for the water element would resonate through every aspect of their society, from daily rituals to artistic expressions. As we conclude our journey through the realm of imagination, we are reminded that history unfolds in intricate ways, guided by forces beyond our comprehension. The Valley of Kathmandu stands as a testament to the choices made by Manjushri, the sage who carved its destiny. Yet, let us cherish the possibility of alternate realities, for they allow us to appreciate the unique tapestry of the world we inhabit. While the story I've crafted is based on imagination and creative storytelling, it seeks to bring to life the potential marvels and challenges that could have emerged if Kathmandu had been a watery paradise. The details and events presented are fictional, but they are inspired by the rich cultural heritage and the resilience of the Nepalese people, who have thrived in their own extraordinary way throughout history.